We'll move on now, leaving Bavaria and going to the rest of Germany. We hand over now to Bernhard Niemann from the Fraunhofer IIS, who will present the 6G Sentinel project. Okay, so thanks a lot for the introduction. Let me see to start screen sharing. Now, hopefully, you, yep. should, you should see the, the presentation. So, basically, um, what I would like to talk about is the 6G Sentinel project, which is a so-called Fraunhofer Lighthouse project. That means it is a Fraunhofer internal project where multiple institutes participate and um, Fraunhofer typically has a handful, something like five to six lighthouse projects running in parallel and they always deal with some strategic topic. And uh, one of these lighthouse projects, which has started beginning of this year is 6G Sentinel, which um, has the objective to work on key enablers for the future of mobile communications. So basically, I'm very happy with the place for the presentation you have allocated because I'm uh, in between Professor Keller and Wolfgang Merz. So Fraunhofer is typically located somewhere between fundamental research and industrial applications. So I, I think I really have the right presentation slot here. And um, I, I think we, we had a lot of talk already about what 6G will be. We've talked about it will increase data rate, it will increase reliability, it will decrease latency and so on. Um, but actually, what do you need to do in order to make all that happen? This is what uh, we are dealing with. So, um, of course, we are not so much focused on the fundamental research questions. We are more focused on topics where we think um, that some initial research has already been done and we need to work on further aspects to really um, enable these technologies to, to go into industrial projects. And one of the most important fields we see is the transition from millimeter wave to terahertz technologies, because you need um, higher frequencies with more available bandwidth if you would in like to increase the data rate. So that is one important point. Then, of course, if you have higher frequencies and more bandwidth available, what you can do is you can achieve more precise localization. And then um, it would be interesting to really have native localization. So currently, um, the, the localization is some kind of add-on to the communication system. And uh, what we would like to achieve is really tightly integrated localization in 6G. Another thing is when you talk about ubiquitous availability, um, smaller cells, um, digital twins available everywhere, then of course, um, things like airborne platforms and uh, low earth orbit satellites may become more and more important. Currently also in 5G, there's um, work on non-terrestrial network integration in, in 5G and um, this we believe will become more important in 6G. And then of course you need to have a flexible core network which uses AI methods and in order to do so you need to have some open and standardized interfaces. So these are, I would say, the, the uh, key points we see to work on. And the project consortium it consists of five institutes which cover the complete value chain or architecture of a typical wireless communication system. So what you need to have is on the left-hand side, you need to have, of course, antennas, you need to have front-end modules, and this is what Fraunhofer IA, 
IAF and IZM are working on. Then you need to have the radio access network. This is the uh, wireless access. Here, uh, Fraunhofer IIS and Fraunhofer HHI are working on various aspects of wireless communication and also localization. And then, of course, you need to somehow connect all the base stations. That is done by a core network. And here we have Fraunhofer Focus working on the core network. So we believe that we have a very strong consortium inside Fraunhofer to work all, on all the various aspects of 6G. And now I would like to show you the, the structure of the project and the project goals. So basically, um, the, the challenges we would like to tackle are ultra high data rates, extremely precise localization and sensing, ubiquitous availability, um, network optimization depending on the use case and um, achieve a adaptive and flexible communication infrastructure. In order to achieve that, what we have done, we have structured the project in two so-called technology pillars. One is uh, terahertz links. So here we are working really on making terahertz links available for mobile communication systems. So currently, of course, you already have some terahertz links, but you're using them mainly for point-to-point -point, um, backhauling links. That means you have two fixed endpoints. But when you are talking about mobile communication systems, of course, what you would like to have is you would like to be able to move around with your handset. And so there needs to be some work and research done in order to make terahertz links really suitable for mobile communications. Then we have a technology pillar on flexible networks. This is mainly um, working on the 6G core network, the integration of flying platforms and these kind of things. And then in order to connect the, the two technology pillars, we have two cross topics. One is the optimized 6G network architecture and another important cross topic is localization. And the ultimate goal, of course, is to carry out research and um, also to do some proof of concept development for key technologies for future communication. Um, then, typically, what I have in, in that overview is I'm talking about the cross topics and the technology pillars. For um, timing reasons, today I would like to restrict to the technology pillars. So, basically, one I said one of the technology pillars is terahertz links. So, what we are planning here is we would like to do characterization using terahertz channel sounders in order to characterize the transmission channel and to develop suitable channel models for transmission in terahertz. And then, of course, you can derive some link and system level simulation from that. On the hardware side, um, we are working on integrated transmit modules. So we're currently really focusing on transmit modules um, because we have limited time and budget. And um, due to the nonlinearity effects of the large bandwidth, we believe that um, working on the transmit modules is the more challenging part. And we would like to do a 150 gigahertz module, which is using gallium arsenide technology, and a 300 gigahertz and one terahertz module using photonic implementation and indium phosphide technology. And then we would like to develop integrated patch antennas using on chip arrays and, of course, beamforming and sweeping needs also to be considered.
On the waveform side, we will work on waveforms and algorithms for terahertz transmissions. We will work on optimizations for the side link. That means communication directly between two handset. And um, also what we would like to do is we would like to implement on FPGA platforms, real-time signal processing for the terahertz links. And finally, um, of course, we want to demonstrate all that in the lab. Then um, for the other technology pillar, which we have called flexible networks, um, what we want to do once again, channel modeling, but that type this time for non terrestrial networks in order to make available suitable transmission characteristics of this channel. Um, we would like to work on localization algorithms for terahertz frequencies. Of course, also here system level simulation plays an important role and demonstration. And finally, we need to have an adapted core network. So we need to go beyond 5G. And that means we need to integrate a lot of AI methodology. We need to find solutions for mesh networks. We need to integrate dynamic heterogeneous backhauls. Um, optimization for campus networks is important. And as already mentioned before, of course, support for trust and security. Then once again, I, I said we have localization as a cross topic. So also in the core network, the integrated localization support is an important topic. And finally, once again, demonstration of the results will take place. Okay, so that's a brief overview of uh, our 6G Sentinel Lighthouse project. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bernhard.